It's 2005. You're just sitting down hoping to hear some news from the Electronic Entertainment Expo over the coming week and maybe hear about some new games or some details about this fancy schmancy revolution Nintendo's been cooking up to disrupt the flow of the gaming industry. So as all these little bits of information start trickling out, you suddenly hear that Satoru Iwata has, before E3 even started, announced a new Smash Brothers game with Wi-Fi functionality. I mean, that's not actually what he said. He actually said that Nintendo of America was very excited about the possibility of working on a Smash Brothers title with Wi-Fi functionality and nothing was set in stone yet. But the gaming world was buzzing, stating with certainty that before E3 had even begun, Satoru Iwata just announced a new Super Smash Brothers title. Now, imagine that same chain of events, except this time you're Masahiro Sakurai, also hearing about it for the first time. Yeah, see, Masahiro Sakurai left HAL Laboratory back in 2003 after completing Kirby Air Ride. While he would ultimately create his own development studio, Sora Limited, Iwata told Sakurai before he left that if another Super Smash Bros. game was to be greenlit at all, he wanted Sakurai as the game's director. So, after the expo ended, Sakurai was invited to Iwata's Los Angeles hotel room so he could be asked in person to join the development team and serve as the game's director. So, as of the end of May 2005, Masahiro Sakurai was officially directing the third Super Smash Bros. title, leading a development team of... zero. Despite what the non-announcement had people thinking about Smash Bros. 3, the game didn't even begin development until the end of 2005, well after Meteo, Sora Limited's first game, was on store shelves in the US and Japan. It wasn't until October that development actually began, when Nintendo opened a brand new office in Tokyo just for the game's completion. Coming along for the development ride beside Sora were Game Arts, the team behind the Lunar and Grandia series, and Monolith Soft, the team behind Xenosaga and eventually Xenoblade Chronicles. Now, up until this point, the Smash Bros. name meant you were gonna get a fun mashup fighting game where all your favorite Nintendo characters could converge to do battle. But on May 10th, 2006 at E3, one year after the sort of announcement of another game, Nintendo revealed Super Smash Bros. Brawl to the world. While the trailer showed off newcomers like Meta Knight, Pit, Zero Suit Samus, and Wario, the real turning point for the franchise came in the trailer's stinger, when a very special announcement set the tone for the rest of the franchise. With the reveal of Solid Snake as a fighter in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, it was clear that you did not have to be a Nintendo original character to join the fray any longer. Rumors swirled about who could turn up next. It could be anyone, even Bomberman. So Nintendo started taking requests for other characters to consider over the summer of 2006, and in August announced that they were working on licensing agreements. The fall seemed to go on forever, while fans waited until the bomb finally dropped that Snake would be joined by another third-party character, none other than Mario's very own old-school rival, Sonic the Hedgehog. The tonal shift in the entire Smash Bros. series seems to be focused on the inclusion of Solid Snake and Sonic in this game. See, from this point forward in the franchise's entire life, anytime there's even the slightest murmur of a new Smash Brothers announcement or update, it would become a series of guesses and adamant statements about who should or should not be included in the next Super Smash Brothers. Like Bomberman. The game was intended to come out before the end of 2007, but a pair of delays on both sides of the Atlantic resulted in the game launching in Japan on January 24th, 2008, and in the States on March 9th. The menu of the game looks strikingly air ride-like, and the achievement system in Brawl is a near carbon copy to boot. Brawl increased its number of available stages from 29 to 41, with 10 of them returning from Melee, and the roster is stretched from 26 to 39 fighters, with newcomers including Meta Knight, King DDD, Wario, Toon Link, Diddy Kong, Zero Suit Samus, Wolf O'Donnell, Lucario, a Pokemon trainer with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard, Lucas, Ike, Pit, 
Olimar, Rob, Solid Snake, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Unfortunately, a handful of the melee fighters were dropped, with Pichu and Mewtwo being demoted to trophies, and Dr. Mario, Young Link, and Roy demoted to stickers. This game also started the trend of bringing together composers from all across the video game industry to create their own renditions of their favorite tracks from throughout gaming history, with 38 composers bringing their talents to the game. As for the gameplay itself, while there are a slew of technical differences we could literally spend hours poring over, the biggest changes to the overall experience include an online multiplayer, the addition of special final smash moves activated by shattering a smash ball, and tripping. Hot take, tripping sucks. No, just kidding, not a hot take. Literally everybody hates tripping. They'd tell you, but nobody's actually here yet. I, I invited people over for a big smash, and it seems like they're, they're taking their time. So instead, why don't we take a look at this game's solo campaign, The Subspace Emissary. Masahiro Sakurai had always been interested in making a fleshed-out single-player experience in Smash Bros., and while Classic Mode from the N64 title was about as bare-boned as it could get, Melee's Adventure Mode showed signs of promise, adding a series of platforming levels to the mix with standard Smash Bros. action interspersed throughout. However, Shigeru Miyamoto had always stressed the importance of making multiplayer battles the prime focus, and as such, these single-player campaigns never quite reached the level that Sakurai had desired. This time around, though, Miyamoto urged Sakurai to make the solo campaign he'd been wanting to make all along, giving him as much time as he needed to get it done. Sakurai initially wanted to have the Subspace Emissary developed by a separate team, but in failing to find one suitable for what he wanted, he took the task on himself, as usual, and had the core dev team work on both sides of Brawl at the same time resulting in some lack of polish in the multiplayer side of things. To help craft a compelling storyline for the game mode, Sakurai enlisted in the help of Kazuhige no Jima, whose writing credits include a few games you might have heard of before, Final Fantasy VII, and VIII, and X, and oh, and Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts II, among others. He also wrote the lyrics to Liberi Fatali in VIII, and Suteki Dane and Him of the Faith in X. Oh, and he was the one who came up with the idea that either Tifa or Aerith should die in Seven. Long story short, the guy has some major, humongous cred. In the Subspace Emissary, we open on an exhibition match between Mario and Kirby at the Midair Stadium, an arena that hovers hundreds of feet in the air miles from civilization with no roads. Sounds super safe. When the whole place is suddenly assaulted from several sides, with the Halberd dropping primids all over the arena, Wario dropping in to steal a princess, and a mysterious being known as the Ancient Minister setting off a subspace bomb, warping the stadium into another dimension. Elsewhere, Bowser steals Donkey Kong's banana horde to lure him into a trap, and Pit, who loves the blood sport that is Smash, soon meets up with Mario to try to stop the ancient minister from striking again. It's a big, crazy crossover, bringing dozens of heroes together in a mad scramble to stop the villains from capturing everyone and turning them into trophies. But is there something more sinister lurking in the shadows? Okay, look, despite my own misgivings over Brawl, it did sell over 13 million copies and is the eighth best-selling Wii title of all time. It sold over 870,000 copies on day one, so, you know, credit where credit's due. Regardless, this is Super Smash Bros. Brawl, The Subspace Emissary. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, this you just skip right the, past it? You're not even going to enjoy the... This isn't the smash we wanted. You're not even going to listen to the, to the little glorious... Yeah. I'm sure we'll hear it next time. <laughs> Welcome back to the D-pad. <laughs> I sincerely doubt it, but okay, cool. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I can't go back now. I'm sorry. No, it's too late. We've only been doing it for seven and a half years. Uh, uh, we're jumping right on in. Have we never played any Brawl on the channel before? Uh, not on the Wii U. Sure. And no, we've never played it on the. Well, we've never played it on the channel before. Weird. Well, welcome back to the so event. I'm John. Don't skip past these. Let's I'm not. I'm not skip I'm not. it. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm is Subspace Emissary, the sing the solo campaign, solo ish. You can apparently do two player for some, but hmm. solo esque campaign. We have the Zelda Peach hot chick team. Nice. No, they're they're a symbiotic. Did they ever explain what the deal with that is for this? Like, what do you mean? That he is a statue coming out into the arena here. Yeah, but the whole being plot controlled. revolves around them being turned into statues. Yeah, mm. yeah, he's being controlled by what's his. So, like, did the Zelda and Peach statues already get thrown in there? Yeah, like, there's a lot <laughs> to there's a lot to unpack here. Oh, oh man, yeah. So you get yeah. to choose between Mario and Kirby. I think I'd rather be Kirby. Yeah. Yeah. All right. In brawl. Okay. Oh, true. Actually, good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, you're a dick, but yes, that's correct. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, wow, these load times are fun. Oh, just get ready. He's already moving. I don't remember how Kirby is in this game. It's okay, I'm playing game. on a whatever the fuck this nice controller is. Yeah. The, the shading in this game is kind of harsh. Like everything's got this weird extra shadow to it. But anyway, yeah, this is Super Smash Brothers Brawl. The subspace emissary, the, the the like main adventure mode campaign of the Wii Smash Brothers game. 
this is the one that like that's like the one thing that basically everybody, whether they love or hate Brawl, can agree upon was an excellent addition yeah, to yes, Smash Brothers. Yes, I yes, hate subspace cool. MSO. No, you know yet the fuck out. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's like a full actual story mode. Like, classic mode in Smash 1 did not have any of that. Adventure mode had, like, a no real story, but it had, like, very bare bones. Some tendons to it. Yeah. But this is one where it's, like, everyone's favorite. Who the fuck is this? Pit. Oh, that's Pit. He's sacrificing someone at that altar. Yeah. yeah. He's stabbing them with an invisible He's knife. He's just a big sports fan. Yes, I love watching workmen fight aliens. Amorphous blob. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ah, oh, CD-based media. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, turned him back into... Oh, now he's a friend. Okay. They're a very uh, cooperative, reliant society here. Where, like, if he... Did he... Could he choose not to do that? Yeah. And Just leave Mario as a statue forever? Kicks him over the side. You guys gonna kiss now? <laughs> uh, is that normal? Yeah, it's normal. This happens every time. Meta Knight just really gets into it. Wow, he's got really good aim to not clip that fence. <laughs> right. Mm. Well, he, pu he put the fence down. Oh, oh no, no! Purple! My he's peeing. Weakness. He's letting. He's letting out the. Uh, it's the, the contents latrine. of the toilet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a kind of oh. a dick move. Oh no, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's uh, the, the famous heartless. Nintendo character. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Pur purple guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, oh, girl. Thank goodness Zelda's oh, here. Get get. Take your time, Peach. There we go. Oh, it's time again. Who are you playing as? Still Kirby. Wait, what? Who else do you want to play as? Okay, uh, you know, the famous team of Kirby and Zelda. Yeah, right. That was weird. All right. <laughs> I remember, I have no oh, idea. You're fighting I'm 30 of these guys. Yeah, remember, I, I have no idea, job, he says, as he then chooses the same character. No, no, no. I, no, I have no idea how to use his controller. I mean, it's basically the same. It's as, basically the same, but there's a reason the GameCube controllers are so enduringly popular is because this piece of shit is not well, useful. I mean, among other things, the placement of the A, B, X, and Y buttons is different. Slightly, yeah, exactly. But. So it just takes some getting used to. Yeah. You're doing all right so far, though. How do I switch to my other character? I don't uh, think it's like you extra lives. Yeah. Oh, so I oh, that's right. Throw those at dudes to turn them into uh, trophies. trophies. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Oh. Too late. <laughs> yep. Oh, it feels so go. clunky. Ah, Yeah, that's that's just Brawl. <laughs> it's Brawl and this controller and playing it on a Wii U. Yeah. You're playing this on the Wii U because the Wii doesn't have HD output. Yeah, not if you're doing it right. And like we've <laughs> done, we've cloud. done a couple of Wii games. Like Kirby's Air Ride was was a GameCube game we played on the Wii because at least the Wii has a slightly better video output, and even yeah. that was rough at times. For rough. All right. All right. They have eleven giving you these uh, metal. Yeah, boxes. I know. It's like the only thing I can get. There you go. You're down to last five. Four. Yeah. Oh, a star. Yeah, I'll take that if I can. Kirby just, <laughs> Kirby just leaves on the star. Hey, look, we got Metal Kirby back again. There we go. He is like Metal Mario. Just spinning forever. <laughs> just dances forever. Yeah! <laughs> that was oh, some yeah, sick disrespect attack. at the end. Yeah, yeah thanks, guys. Oh, oh no. no! Wizard Man. Ancient, Ancient Minister. 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 Ah, yes. Kunk. Uh-oh. Ironically, Subspace Emissary is now classic enough Rob. that Rob's. the Subspace Emissary specific characters could be included in Smash. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, no, a bomb. The subspace bomb. He just <laughs> nods. Like, yeah. What a friendly nod. Yep. It's a bomb. Can I just leave the Robs there to die, too? I guess. I guess so, yeah. What was with the camera shake there? Hi -ya! Oh, my God. Oh, oh right oh, in the oh, dome. Bye, Mario. Huh. What, oh, oh, that was what quick and easy. Oh, hey. Hey, that's fun. early Early cameo. <laughs> hey, I was right. <laughs> right. He's now a character. <laughs> Uh. Ba 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 ba. Choose between Kirby and Petey Piranha. There's no cheese. Oh, that's right. You're you're in the cages, not him. The bosses in this are really cool, and it's a shame they're subspace exclusive. That there's no equivalent to this fight in Brawl itself. Yeah. Ooh, we got a Mega Mushroom. I want him to get it. Oh God. <laughs> He's not big enough. That's cool. The first boss battle of Subspace Emissary is in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Like as a fighter, like a regular character now, sorta. That's the final smash of Piranha yeah, Plant. Yeah. I'd say it counts. You almost got Peach. Was there a difficulty selecting a uh, setting? Yeah, the start? I picked normal. Yeah, yeah, normal. Cool, cool. I was realizing. Is that like, it? You just have to open one. You cage? have to open one, and the other one gets captured. I think. Oh, uh, you can only Whoa! save one. Shit! I would have chosen Zelda if I realized that's how it worked. Yeah, Peach is better, and Zelda's dead. I'm better as Zelda though. Where do you get Warrior. a gun? A sword? It's a gun. 
It's like cannon. Like, fu- oh, it's his motorcycle. So much pink. Wario's like, nose, Kirby, Zelda. Like, Jesus, everybody attacked at once. Oh, it's not a motorcycle. It just has engine. It has a... Uh, exhaust pipes exhaust pipes on it. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. She was penetrated. Oh. By an arrow. She got upvoted into oblivion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Finally. We'll say, this... This does seem unusually antagonistic for Wario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's... I love no. that it's like, oh yeah, the bomb. Whoops. Nobody really seems right. 90,000 people were killed today in the <laughs> Super Smash Brothers arena in killed. the middle of the wilderness. Yeah, right. <laughs> that, that's the weirdest part. <laughs> Emergency crews tried to get on scene, but there are no roads and nothing nearby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yay! Stage we win! win. <laughs> Everyone died. Stage we got you one, win. one point for every human soul that was lost. <laughs> yeah. Can I get 90,300 special kisses, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to be at this for a while. <laughs> We're gonna we'll yeah, fast forward yeah, to the yeah, rest Kirby of and them. Peach. So let's save, I guess. I'll yeah. save. Forgot that there's Empty, save. Just that there's like save. Sta- like save slots. But for there's this, like it is a like million a slots you can use. Yeah. So what do I do? Back to map. Yeah, back to map. Yeah. Uh, I guess we're going to Sky World. We don't have any other options. Go there. Kay. Get Pit to help out. You got nice boots, Pit. Yeah, nice Pit. boots. Oh man, Super Bowl's <laughs> over. Yeah, Pit is like this was a lot cooler before this happened. <laughs> oh, not no. Palatina. Yo, girl. She's not playable in this game, though, right? I don't think she's playable in Brawl. No. She's playable in 4, though. Yeah. For some reason. So she also gets an early cameo here. I don't think she deserves to be playable. There, I said it. I don't know enough about Kid Icarus as a series. I really I know nothing about it. I think it, that's so. kind of the thing. Like, she's not well-known enough yeah. to be, like, a major character. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I also don't know anything about the Fire Emblem characters, but... Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's true. Japan is a place. They have their preferences. And Palutena, I don't know if she existed in the original Kid Icarus or if, or if she was just from the. Could you uh, have a uprising. less dramatic way to exit? There was no need for that. Oh yeah, he gets his theme too. Forgot about that. His little theme song. Did he fall out of a cloud? Like we didn't see what the outside of whatever he was just in looked like. It was yeah. They never looked back at it. <laughs> yeah. He got his little Iron Man entrance. <laughs> We'll do a three-point stance when he gets to... Oh, yeah. man. Oh, that's right. You have an actual level here. Oh, I yeah. forgot that not everything is a battle in this game. Down and jump, I think. Or just down. <laughs> the nice thing about Subspace Emissary, among other things, if you break those open, you get stuff. No. <laughs> Bunny ears. If you, uh, the, the nice thing about Subspace Emissary is that you do... Oh, no. Grab that. Is that a sticker? a sticker? Yeah. Two stickers. Those will be useful. You can stickers. use those to, to make yourself stronger over the course of it. So, um, No, one thing that's cool about Saturday Cemetery is that you are forced to... Oh, trophy. Nice. You're forced to use a bunch of different characters for it. So you kind of yes. get... If you've never played Smash before, it is a chance to get used to everybody. It's probably one of my favorite things about it. Because otherwise, you know, you, you pick whoever you're best with and hammer yeah, through. Forever, except yeah. for event matches the where helper. you have to use somebody. Spraying purple pee everywhere. Oh. This does also make it look like a more cohesive bad guy plot than it kind of turns out to be. Like, all of these assaults happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, they're correlated, but they're not one unified front or anything. All the bad guys, like Wario and and, uh, Meta Knight, are just being controlled, right? No, not really. It's... I mean, we'll we'll get into it when we get there, but there's more to it than just that. So much food. You know, what is... So, we don't have, like, a life counter with these guys or anything, so... Um, I I believe when you're attacking them, it pops up top left. Oh, no, it's a stage. Okay. All right. So essentially, yeah, like, Subspace Emissary... Ooh, it's a golden one. Subspace Emissary is basically uh, adventure mode from Melee with an, with an actual story. Yeah. Instead of just, like, some path. Yeah. The trophy stands are pretty goddamn cool, I well, think. Because, like... They're tough to use. So many of the trophy, like so many of the trophy things, are enemies in Subspace Emissary. That being able to just get, is there something down below you? Probably, but and it's up to you. It's up to you. Oh no! No! Nope, nope, swift nope. death. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Uh, I don't know how to use dodge. It. I'm oh. trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. okay, I got it. So I don't really know how Pit works. I'm just trying to get through this. All right. I mean, he's got wings, so. <laughs> oh, hi. 
Horrible Greep. demon monster. What a Greep, am I right? What? Greep. <laughs> Saying it again isn't gonna make it make more <laughs> sense. <laughs> this is what it says on the screen. I don't fucking know. Nope. Yeah. All right. <laughs> don't have much to work. You can't with use there. the D-pad even though it's in the place where you want to use it. Ah. All right. Except for taunts. I'm a little boy. Oh no, a statue. How convenient that it flew up to the sky. Did Mario die when he was hit by the cannonball? <laughs> Yo, what did he experience during all this? Or was that it? Was that the last thing he saw and he woke up? Yeah, then he like turned into get, a statue midair. Like your brain just kind of gets a good two, three seconds worth of actual stuff and then it's gone. Yeah. Uh -oh. Mario. Okay, I was like, you can't Dang. fly, buddy. Yeah, going for it. Yeah, I'm not going to be pit. <laughs> <laughs> if you're given the option. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> Maybe literally, but not for real. These load times are a little bit nuts. Yeah, they're a but. little rough. Is that because of the Wii U oh, version? Oh, this is the shittiest yeah, Mario. This is the this is the lame Mario. Yeah. Mario was decidedly pretty lame in uh, in Brawl. Ha ha! You fell. I mean, he's no different from Smash Four Mario. Does he still have the flood in, in uh, Smash Four? Yeah. I remember. I I mean, me. I always was more of a Doctor Mario person than a Mario Mario person. Yep. But. Just a sticker. Mario, Mario, and Luigi, Mario, mm -hmm. <laughs> and their third brother, Doctor, and their fourth brother, Baby. Oh man, please don't put the babies in Smash. I, they definitely shouldn't be. I think they should. I would play Baby Mario. Uh, you would. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna main. Uh, I'm gonna main Piranha Plant for sure. Piranha Plant is <laughs> awesome. I'm so happy that Piranha Plant's in there, just because it's so ridiculous. Yep. Conceptually. <laughs> That it makes it great. Unless they make Wii Fit Trainer really good, then I'll play Wii Fit Trainer. Oh, yeah. I want a Wii Fit Trainer to be the best character. So At this bad. rate, a Donkey Kong barrel will be the next character. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yep. Just I'm, announced. Just go down I am again. legitimately surprised that Springman didn't get added. He's a trophy, right? He is a. I think assist he's at trophy. least a spirit, but I think he's an assist trophy. Yeah. Oh, from uh, arms. From arms, because they were so like. They, yeah, I, but I think it wasn't that good. I think they just like accepted that. You know what? We were trying to make this a thing, but it wasn't that good. So fuck yeah. it. I mean, it's a it's the best attempt they've had at like a brand new thing since Splatoon, but. Yeah, but that's, Granted, that's the last not, two things they've done. I was gonna say like that's not saying much considering. Why does that Splatoon never is so huge? There you go. You got it. Because you threw it up. I think the dude punched him while he was throwing it. Yeah. I don't yeah, I keep getting stuck in this fucking wet thingy. <laughs> the flood? Yeah. It's wet. <laughs> keep getting stuck in this wet thingy. <laughs> mm. Hey man, you have your words, I have mine. Yeah, mine are words. I have an <laughs> apple. Now you have an apple. <laughs> Spack. Or Spock. Spock. You think so? You doing alright? Oh god! There you go. Oh, oh. You got god. one more off. There you go. Oh fuck! I forgot about this guy. <laughs> Reminds me of a Wily machine. Row turret. Row turret. Yeah. Win. Great. Isn't that the thing from <laughs> Sonic? It yeah. is. Yeah. Oh no, no, it's from Kirby. Kirby has those. Okay. Well, Sonic has them also, but I think those are designed. Those are meant to be the ones from Kirby Superstar. Oh wait, Mega Man's not in this either. Nope. Uh, Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Ciao. I think I overrode all my memories of Brawl with memories of Smash Fiery, Blowhog, and Joan. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fiery, Classic Blowhog, characters and Mario, and, Joan. and Pit. I'm cool. probably going to be uh, maining Fiery, Blowhog in, uh, <laughs> in Ultimate. Right, we should come I've back. been a fan of Joan since 1983. Should we come back next time, you think? <laughs> I suppose we shall. Joan's S tier. All right, bye. Bye.